to be back at home in Canada but not be in Toronto. I've never been to Vancouver before. I've only ever heard the best things, so I'm really, really excited to be here. I had a very stressful morning, so I didn't vlog very much of getting to the airport, but thankfully I did make my flight, which was a genuine fear that I would miss it, so. Awesome. I am actually just about to catch a taxi because they don't have Uber here, which is super strange, especially especially living between LA and Toronto where Uber is king. It's very weird to be back in a place where they don't have it. So I'm actually gonna take an old school cab, which should be very interesting. The weather here is like cold and damp, which is literally the opposite of LA weather. So I've got on my really super warm down puffer and these welly rain boots that I actually got from Amazon for like 25 bucks and these J. Crew corduroy pants which are super warm. So we're gonna try to catch one of these cabs and head over to our next location. So beautiful, it's like magical Christmas land. This is my good friend Matthew V. Look at this beautiful rooftop he's taken us to. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, no mountains tonight, but to I've been told really they're like this. All right, we've done the lookout, now we're gonna head to dinner. I think we're getting some sushi tonight. These are my dinner dates. <laughs> The elusive steam clock. And there's no one around. It's just us. Oh, it's so nice. Up here is the Pacific Rim. They have the nicest toilets in all of Vancouver. The Pacific Rim has the best <laughs> toilets. If you're looking for a luxe toilet experience, Fairmont Pacific Rim. Just wash them in general. Wow. I'm in Christmas land. These are my little elves. Wow. Oh, so this is the gangster and crazy girl. And banker roll and then sushi. Thank you. It's a mukbang. It's a mukbang. I'm about to get my church. So good. Successful sushi no, dinner. Thanks, Mama. Actually, I haven't rolled out of it. I'm still technically in bed. Today, we are going to check into our Airbnb. I'm not super familiar with Vancouver, but I believe our Airbnb is in Mount Pleasant. Yeah, I'm really excited. So just gonna get up, wash my face, have some breakfast, and then I think we're gonna get started with our day. Airbnb, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. This is the front little entranceway, a bathroom. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, very nice. And we've got this 
adorable kitchen. Got a dining room table, little fridge and coffee maker situation. And then our living room. And then our bedroom is through here. We've got a set of double doors and our bed. Yeah, there's the little tour. So right now I think we're just gonna get settled in, drop off our suitcases, and then the plan is, I believe we're gonna try to go to Stanley Park. I'm here till Sunday, and I think this is the only day we're getting up like full sun and no rain. So we're gonna take advantage and go to the park and walk around while we've got this beautiful weather. Waiting for the bus. There's the bus in the wee distance. We've made it and we've decided to get bike rentals for Stanley Park. We've come to Joey Cycles and uh, today we've opted for a tandem bike. There she is. This is our first stop on the Tandem Tour 2019. It's been a little trickier than we anticipated, but we're making it happen. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're doing it. We're, doing it. we're vlogging and biking. the next morning look at the backyard of this Airbnb very cute we're so lucky because November weather in Vancouver is typically like very rainy and overcast and we've got two days of Sun in a row no complaints very happy We just left Lucky, sorry the sun is directly behind me. <laughs> So I wanted to mention, it is worth noting, because I had such good luck with the donuts, even though initially I didn't think there was anything I wanted there, not all of the donuts are out in the front window. They make the donuts fresh in the store, so 
if you want it's also worth taking a look into the kitchen and seeing what they have on the racks there because you're totally welcome to order one of those donuts which is what i did and it was delicious hot tip for you the lucky's main street location not everything is as it seems and get the lemon meringue donut because it was amazing okay we've made a pit stop in dr sun yatsen's chinese garden it's a beautiful garden in chinatown in vancouver and it's actually free so if you want to come here and take a look around totally free of charge we just walked in and now we get to enjoy this beautiful downtown park this is what it looks like You've got all of these beautiful trees this lovely bamboo walkway little ponds so we're just gonna take it all in. I'm looking very red, but I am currently at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver. I'm closing my night off with a Matthew V concert. You've seen him in the vlog earlier already. He's a good friend of mine. He's an amazing pop artist, and I'm really excited because we've been friends for a couple years now, but I've actually never gotten to see him perform. This will be the first time he's about to go on a tour across Canada. I'll put a link down below for all of his tour dates. If you happen to be in one of the cities, you have to check him out. He's incredible, but yeah. Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. We actually took the bus here, so if you ever come, I know they have a free shuttle from a few locations downtown, and then you can also just take public transport all the way here. This is the little front entrance way. It's super cute. We need this guy. English. This is where we are. I'm gonna do the bridge, treetop adventures, cliff walk, all the good stuff. All right, let's go. I'm so excited. I'm really excited, but I'm also quite scared because I don't do amazing with heights. So we'll see if this was a good idea. First little sneak peek of the bridge. We're going to go up there over all this. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm on it. I'm on the bridge. Holy moly. Wow. Look at that sun flare. I just need to say, if you are in Vancouver and you're considering coming here, you absolutely have to. It's been the most like serene, beautiful experience so far. So definitely add it to your list. We were told by one of the employees that they're putting up 1.5 million lights this year and we actually came before the official opening of what they're calling Canyon Light so that's why there's like no people here. We actually got very lucky. Apparently when they do open the sort of proper park festivities, I don't remember the exact number but the line for the bridge is an hour long to get into the park it's like 30 minutes and so far today we've just walked onto everything. Um, and there's almost no people around. I think also the weather had something to do with it because it rained today in the morning, but there's no rain now, so we definitely lucked out. This place is literally a magical Disney forest. This is my path. 
the nice thing about cliff walk is this thing is not swaying, so there's the bridge. More stunning light displays. I feel kind of bad for people that come here when there's no lights because this particular experience is so breathtaking. I mean, I'm sure it's still gorgeous any time of year, but like, I'm in Capilano Christmas land. It's quite a bit darker, so the lights are like in full swing. It's so nice. We've got two more stamps to collect on our little uh, passport stamp thing so we're gonna try to quickly do that before we catch the free shuttle back to the city which leaves at five and it's currently uh, we got about uh, 15 minutes left so I'm gonna try and get that done get the shuttle head back into the city and yeah but like oh just taking this all in because it's so beautiful and I know I've said this like a thousand times but it's it's stunning Got my certificate. I made it. Bye, Capilano. Thanks for the good times. 10 out of 10, would recommend. brunch rundown. Rosemary rock salt bagel from Seagull's Bagels. Spinach filled bagel also from Seagull's Bagels. Oka. House prosciutto. And two donuts from Lee's Donuts. This is our uh, beautiful brunch feast. I've had my first few bites of the rosemary rock salt bagel. We got stuff to put on them. They don't even need them. So just finished up at Granville Island, gonna catch the ferry to Yale Town. I think the ferry's like just under four bucks and you get to have a little ferry ride, which is awesome. So I thought it'd be like a big ferry, but it's actually this tiny little cute ferry. Walking over to our little boat to take us to the big city. Thank you. Okay, a bit of a time jump, obviously. We were just in Yale Town on the main island and now we're actually getting back onto a ferry and going back to Granville to get some dinner and explore some of the shops. So Yale Town was actually a lot smaller than um, than I thought it would be. We just got a little bit of food out there, explored a bit. We got this beautiful nighttime view of downtown Vancouver. All right, I think we actually have a couple ferries headed our way, so we've gotta get our tickets out and get ready to get back on the boats. Can see them coming.
the airport. I'm heading back to LA. It's very gray and very, very rainy. I've got all my essentials. I've got my coffee, my breakfast sandwich. So I'm gonna just head over to my gate because I believe my boarding has started and then we'll be back to LA. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you learned a little something about Vancouver. I love Canada and I feel like you tend not to explore your own backyard that much. So I'm really glad I got the opportunity to see another province and explore my own country. So it was a lot of fun. I'm definitely still half asleep. I'm gonna just, I feel like immediately fall asleep on this flight. Yeah, I will see you next week with another video.